Meanwhile, down the other end of the stadium, we have the women's hammer final. This is where the medals will be sorted out. We have two poles. We have Furman Edge, who just goes into the circle now for her sixth and final round, 69-68. For the silver, she needs to throw over 70 metres, 89. For gold, over 71-25. She fouls it. She knows it's not enough. She'll take the bronze medal. And there is Mawina Copron. She's the defending champion, and not only that, but she actually won a world bronze medal in 20 at the World Championships in 2017. We can only think that she has had some injuries or has been out of operation during 2018 and then just getting back to it. She's highly accomplished as a hammer thrower and she holds the record, the university had record from the last games in Taipei. This is her last chance to win gold again. Copra, Poland. Oh, and that's totally out of control. Very disappointed last attempt, an anticlimactic throw. 70-89 on the first round for the 24-year-old from Poland. Defending champion will take silver this time. In the qualifying round, there were only two athletes went over the automatic qualifying distance of 68. Gaurats, the Hungarian, who was finished fourth here through 68.05 in the qualifying, and Klimets of Ukraine through 68.01 to go through on their first throws. This is her final and last attempt. She takes gold. Just under 70 metres. She's been the inspiration in the competition. She can't quite believe it. 70.01 to start, no throw. 70.89, 68.01, and then in the fifth round, what effectively sealed her gold medal was the 71.25. That last throw, just under 70 metres, 69.36. What a great series of throws for the Ukrainian. And I think she's pleased with that. The evening's work has done. She takes gold for the Ukraine. Bronze went to Fermanek of Poland. Marwina Kopran takes the silver. But the honours, the gold medal, go to the most consistent thrower in the competition.